You're listening to the January 30, 2017 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello, off-worlders. First of all, let me say that the topic I'd like to talk about is not because I am depressed. I'm not. Yet, sometimes, and I've heard others express this also, everything seems a little bit pointless. I know we're here to love and raise the vibration of ourselves and the planet, yet still, the everyday conversations, etc., just seem so trivial. When you consider what we're here to do, any advice? Good day to you. Thank you for your consistency in bringing about thoughts that many humans have upon your planet. We could not possibly consider such a thought. For nothing that we do or think or express in any way would be considered mundane or pointless. Well, that's the thing. I know I shouldn't feel this way. I should make the most of everything, and I try to. Yet it doesn't stop my underlying thoughts of, what's the point of this triviality? Or, thinking to myself while doing something with others... How is this enhancing our souls and indeed our planet? A lot of activities or conversations do not seem to carry a high vibration with them. Let us be polite, yet blunt with you, Blossom. This attitude about things is brought about by you. This attitude is how you are choosing to think. You could choose to completely change your thoughts around about any given conversation or activity and make your entire being, your entire purpose for being here, be of great joy. This I also know. Yet, with respect, life down here sometimes ain't always sunshine, lollipops and rainbows. Yet, if you choose it to be, it would be no matter what the circumstances. All I'm thinking right now is that one must have to be a highly evolved soul to sift through the everyday mundaneness or fruitless conversations in order to make every moment a joyous one. This is so. Up to you. Such hard work for the mind to continually be able to think like that. Sometimes I just want to get off. No offence to anyone, yet the point we are at on our planet seems still to be that of trivial pursuit, instead of joyous pursuit. And yet, so many think that in searching for their joyous pursuit, they will find it in their trivial one. And who are you to say they will or won't? I am Blossom Goodchild just here expressing how I feel at times. And as I've said many times before, I have a blessed life, and yet quite often I still question this planet and all who sail in her. Yet you choose to be here. Dearest light beings, all these things I know, for we have spoken of them many times. And I'm not saying, I know, I know, I know, in a big-headed manner. I'm saying that considering so many of us know all this, that it's our choice of attitude, etc., how come our minds still have these thoughts quite regularly of, yawn, yawn, yawn? We wish to speak openly with you about this subject matter. You are under attack constantly from those who run your planet. Under attack far more than you realize, and in many more ways than you realize. Many readers would want you to elaborate in what these methods of attack are. And for many reasons, we do not desire to go into great detail. And you know, many people will say, you never answer questions properly. You dodge them. Therefore, you are not authentic. I know you to be truth. I just like to be the advocate, so frustration can be kept to a minimum. Dearest one, 
we have mentioned many times that we are not here to impress. This is not a popularity contest. Souls either resonate with that which we speak, or they do not. We have no agenda other than to serve in the light. If it is at times that we do not follow through intensely with detail regarding certain subject matter, it is for a very good reason. Why on earth would we desire to trick you? You wouldn't, but some express you can't answer questions. You evade them because you are not of truth. So I'm just getting you to explain this. We come to assist. That which we choose to express is carefully collaborated so that these messages are received by all, and we mean all, and cannot get you into any trouble, if you understand. We think you do. Yes, to protect me. So, back to us being under attack. Just how much does this affect our being? To a large extent. Dampening your spirit so that you sometimes feel the way you do is part of the overall plan to suppress and bring discomfort in self. Yet you are here to overcome that. It is at these times when you feel that all is so pointless that you must fight back. For you know better. You know that it is just a breath and a thought away to make you change that which you are fed to a place of feeling so high and so on top of things in an instant. You know this, therefore you can do this with the greatest of ease. Be aware when you have these thoughts of what they are and where they come from and why you are having them. That knowledge in itself can make you instantaneously overcome such thoughts and feelings. The more you have them, the more those who do not wish you to shine your light are winning through. The more you change your thoughts, so simply, so easily, the more you, the light, is winning through. Do you see? So simple, dearest ones. I'm known for sticking to something I've made my mind up to do. Sometimes I need to discipline myself a little more than at other times. I guess it's a matter of making sure that this which you say becomes a priority, to become more aware that when I have these thoughts, they're not coming from me, they're being sent to me in the guise of coming from me. Correct, dearest soul. And the more you choose to recognize this, the more you can change it. Why would it be that you, any of you, in your light, would feel everything is so pointless and that you want to leave the planet? Just making it clear that I would never take myself out. I just now and then want the next bus out of here. We understand. Yet, knowing in fullness for self of self, the light you are in truth, you know why you are here. To be love and raise the vibration of self and all around you. What an absolute honor. What an absolute joy. What a wonderful way to spend every moment of your day. When you accept this and put it into practice, when you are vigilant to the nth degree about looking out for, being aware of thoughts that do not serve, when you choose to be warriors of light with every breath, dearest ones, shall you feel the difference in who you are. When you feel who you are instead of try to be who you are, then shall the thoughts of triviality take but a nanosecond of your time before they are dispersed, discarded. And how good shall you feel in this knowing that in no way are you letting those of lesser light, those who choose to play a different game, 
take hold of your thoughts and bring you down to their level. You are so much more than that. You are powerful, mighty beings of light. Be them. How we desire to get through to you on the deepest level, that by being the light you are, you can overcome anything and everything. We are aware of the unrest in many of your countries, that there is much concern as to how it will all pan out. We say to you, let go of the concern. Do not add fuel to the fire. Instead, add light to the darkness and radiate your light and love into all situations that bring ill ease. This, dearest ones, is how the situations shall be rectified. This, O souls of divine source, is how you bring your planet back into balance. We have said there shall be much upheaval in order to eventually bring balance home. This is when you come into your own. This is when you stand firm when you hold your swords of light to the sky and you say, We are here. We are here to bring peace to this place. This is why we came and we shall, through the highest love light, fulfill our desires and let harmony reign once more. This is our vow to self and all. And so it is. Are you up for it, dearest souls? Are you strong enough to see this through? Are you? Are you? Yes, we are. I feel it. I know it. For with your helpful messages, I'm able to regain strength and know that it is really very simple. Sure, it takes practice to remain in a vibration that serves at all times. Yet it takes practice also not to eat dairy or grain right now. And because I set my mind to it, it's just a matter of discipline. So I just apply that same principle to my thoughts and feelings and make myself become who I truly am. And you know, Blossom, that many would disagree with your wording in that one shouldn't have to make themselves become themselves, for you just are. Yet we agree with you that due to common knowledge these days of suppressance to the soul from outsiders, one has to be stronger in their attitude and outlook. Yet, like anything, practice makes perfect, and the more one practices, the easier it becomes, until eventually It takes no effort at all. Like riding a bike, as you would say. Yep, and I've fallen off mine many a time. And you got back on to regain confidence and prove to yourself you could do it. Did you not? I did, and I could. (laughs) Thanks, guys. As I said, we know all of this. We just, for some reason, need reminders and pointers and encouragement in these times. And we, dearest Blossom, are joyously happy to be the ones to offer it to you. All. We love you. We are one. We are almost there. Where? At the point of no return. Praise be. We have liftoff. Best find my parachute. No need for that, dearest one. No need for that. In love and thanks. Loads of it.